let's see how uh, useful regular expressions can, really small ones, can be. For example, replacing spaces. Uh, in some other languages you have uh, functions for left trim and right trim to remove a new lines, uh, white spaces from the beginning and the end of the string. In Perl usually you don't use uh, such things because a simple regular expression like this is uh, enough. And um, obviously for people who don't know regular expressions this looks strange, but but uh, for someone who is using Perl regularly, that's just plain regular ex expression. So what is it here? Uh, S means re uh, substitute, right? And then the three slashes. And the regular expression itself is uh, from the beginning, that's the caret, backslash S white spaces, one or more. So catch all the white spaces at the beginning and replace them with nothing. And this one is catch all the white spaces at the end or till the end and replace them with nothing. So these two regular expressions remove the uh, white spaces from the beginning and the end of the string respectively. And then people come here and um, sometimes and say, oh, but why should I, I run two regular expressions where, where uh, we could uh, do it with one and um, they come and uh, come up with a regular expression like this which would they, they say, okay, so at the beginning there are the reg white spaces and then at the end there are also white spaces <coughs> and in the middle there is the rest of the stuff and all this is the whole string and we are replacing it with what is in the middle. That sounds good and then we try it on a simple string and we get back this one and we have to notice that the space at the end haven't been removed. And that's because of the greediness. Because what really happens is that this one catches the space at the beginning, then this catches everything till the end, and the uh, poor guy here, this one, doesn't get anything. So it's but it's okay for for, for because there's a star here. And and you can't even put a, a plus here because that would mean that you require to have at least one space at the end in order to remove the spaces from the beginning or some similar. So that's not good. And there is actually one place where minimal matching might work. So or or actually works. If I put here a question mark, then what happens is that this catches the space, and this catches as little as possible to allow leaving only spaces at the end. So it will catch at the beginning nothing, and then slowly it will grow until it catches also C, at which point this already can catch all the rest. And then this works, but is it worse? Probably not, or definitely not, because now this is a much more complex regular expression, and um, error prone, as you can see, people really fall in this trap. And uh, the main reason people say that we should do this uh, instead of these two is uh, speed. And if you actually benchmark, you will find out that they have the same speed, these two and this uh, single one. So usually it's better even to keep two regular expressions, uh, two simple ones, than having one really complex, if you can do that.